Parliament resumes its sittings tomorrow to a full entry, including the approval of budget estimates to be presented next week. MPs could also find themselves handling a petition for the removal of Environment Cabinet Secretary Keria Kotobiko for alleged abuse of office when he served as the Director of Public Prosecutions. Stephen Latour reports. After a month-long recess, Parliament resumes its sittings to a full entry. Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich will on Thursday next week present the budget before the House and explain how the country will raise the revenue to fund this year's budget. National Assembly Majority Leader Eden Duale says MPs are running behind schedule in approving the budget's estimates. MPs will also debate the President's speech as well as the pending bills. This session is going to be a very, very busy session. But the most important thing we are, that we are going to deal with starting tomorrow with a procedural motion I'm going to move is the budget making process. We're having these issues of handshake, hackshake, cooperation and all that. But as another side, we cannot uh, leave our responsibility of oversight. The lawmakers also will have to prioritize the petroleum bill, two-thirds gender rule, finance bill, health laws amendment bill of 2018, as well as change of election date from August to December. I have uh, written to the speaker so that we can amend uh, uh, the, the rules against corruption to make some of the uh, uh, the punishment to enlist uh, part of them being life sentence to make some of the economic crimes capital punishment. However, a section of the legislators feel the House should adjourn its business to debate the state of corruption in the country. With billions of taxpayers' money pocketed by individuals at the National Youth Service, the Serials Board, Kenya Power and the Kenya Pipeline Company. I will be seeking uh, uh, the indulgence of the Speaker to seek leave of House to discuss uh, the cases of corruption. What we do should be done diligently so that uh, we don't use the excuse of fighting corruption to punish particular individuals. We have seen people being uh, even arraigned in court and we have seen uh, so much money being lost. Media has highlighted but we now want as parliament to also bring it up so that we look into the issue. We are going to support uh, President Uhuru and uh, his deputy uh, about this uh, fighting uh, uh, corruption. Even as the House resumes tomorrow, a man has petitioned Parliament to have Environment CS Keriako Tobiko removed from office. Blamal Njururi claims Tobiko concealed vital information before the vetting committee of Parliament of abuse of office. Tobiko is also accused of aiding Kunini Olen Tutu in the irregular purchase of 4,000 acres of land in the Masai Mara forest. According to the petitioner, Tobiko's law firm has been involved in dubious land deals. He claims that Tobiko abused the legal process by allowing malicious prosecutions during his reign as the director of public prosecutions. If the petition meets... It will be deliberated by the Committee on Environment, chaired by Mara lawmaker Karek Mbuki. The National Assembly's entry for the next session is full, and the legislators saying they are going to focus their energy on adjusting legislations relating the fight against corruption. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Parliament Buildings in Nairobi.